There's a bit of oil there, mate. Is that normal for a Land Rover? Oh, very normal. I'll let you off then. It's sweating power, mate. Sweating power. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Dave and welcome to Maker. Today we're going to do a walk around the workshop of what's going on and what's happening and what's going in what vehicle. What you see here is a 90 that's owned by a good customer of ours called Gwyn from Anglesey. He came to see me a couple of weeks ago and said, Dave, he said, I'm bored of this 2.4 Puma. He said, it's just not me. So I said, you need a BMW. After a ride in my Bowler Blue Defender 90, I convinced him to part with some money and we're going to put an engine in. This is going to be a, we're just going to go used engine in this, guys. I've made him aware that there's no warranty implied or given with our used setups. So I've shown him the engine running in the car and it's going to go in this one. So stay tuned to see how we fit it. So a little update on the series. So this is going to be the sympathetic restoration, if you like. The car is going to go back to mid Welsh grain. If you can look under there, underneath the shoddy paint. So you see this grey here? That is mid Welsh grain. For those of you that know the channel, this is very similar to what Ethos is, but that's a glossy version, which is the original mid Welsh grey. This is owned by a local customer of ours, David. And Dave and his wife said to me, Dave, this was our wedding car, believe it or not. And what I want to do is I want to make this car extra special for them because it's going to take them back to their wedding day. And we're going to go with a nice twist. So we're going to go brown hood on this. So brown hood, satin, maybe, maybe we'll go with a bit of matte, satin matte, bit of a twist like we did on Ethos. So brown hood, Ethos grey, a lovely like rustic interior. And this engine is going to be sent away for some little upgrades should we say the least so it's going to go back to how it was so not our usual upgrade spice things up but we're going to go original but with some bigger valves and a tasty carb that can actually put some fuel in it apart from that little thing so that little thing there doesn't excite me in any way shape or form but when it comes back it'll have a better tone to it to say the least so stay tuned for that it's going to be it's going to be interesting and we're going to get rid of all this so crusty steel pipes with stainless we're going to make a nice stainless exhaust and basically revamp what's here you know disc brake conversions galvanized miles and chassis we've got bill stein working on some series shocks for us we've noticed that series land rovers are becoming very popular so we spent a bit of money on r d and we're going to have some nice bill steins made and yeah just stay tuned to see what we do with it
there's a bit of oil there, mate. Is that normal for a Land Rover? Oh, very normal. I'll let you off then. It's sweating power, mate. Sweating power. <laughs> So guys, if you have not bought your tickets already, five pound a ticket can win this 200,000 pound defender. So if you head over to Raffle, there's a link on my Instagram. There'll be a link attached to this YouTube video, right? To buy your tickets for this, guys. If we go over the target of tickets, I'm gonna give the sum to charity, guys. We're not gonna say yet because we need to obviously return X value to a customer first to keep him happy. And the rest is gonna to go to a charity close to my heart. What you see here, guys, is one hell of a machine, and it's mostly, most definitely worth more than a fiver. So, Mr. Red has taken, I want to say, a big change. So, we decided to pull the roof off today as it's having a tub change. The rear tub is beyond repair, so we're going to fit a new Puma TDCI tub and basically give him a nice upgrade, and he wants us to move the seats about four inches further back because he has tall children syndrome. They're a bit like me. Um, we're going with some new galvanised B posts because they are about shot. And you see in the corner here where the mud ingress is, that's where they've rotted through. So Bruno's been busy today ripping the tub off and yeah, it's getting there. So update on Project Cagney, we've gone with obviously the big 2.65 shocks, the lads have been fitting the air ride, so today we've put some air into the system and we're working out ride heights etc and we've been clipping through, you'll see here, we're running through the nylon airline, so we've done some little mods that we haven't done usually before, we've clipped them up here, we've gone full protection sheathing, we're using glands where we're going over sharp edges and if you look here, we've now got some new fuel clips. So we used to use things like Jubilee clips and things, but we've had issues with them corroding and coming loose. And now we've got these nice marine grade stainless steel fuel clips as a nice addition. And also we've upgraded ourselves when it comes to fuel hoses because modern fuels are changing. And unfortunately, hose manufacturers aren't keeping up with the change of fuel. So for those of you that are DIY guys, always check that your fuel line is E10 proof and also the new diesel proof. It's biodiesel, I think you want to call it because it's got some nasty stuff in it. So looms in, the dash will be going in hopefully sometime soon, and I want to say the body will be going on probably tomorrow. So we're going to call this guy's Project Big Wheel because it's got some monstrous wheels that have been stuck onto a 110. This car arrived a few weeks ago, it's got a three inch lift, 
things hadn't been done properly so there's no caster correction mm -hmm. arms bushes etc things like that to make the car handle properly so we've pulled out the 2.2 puma that had previously failed and we now install a three liter m57 those of you that follow us regularly you'll know that we love this engine this is the iron block with the aluminium head m57 mike 57 don't get it mixed up with the toffee made engine that destroys itself which is the n57 this is the one that we find bulletproof very tunable and very reliable so while it's with us the client said can we improve the brake so we've given him our 16 inch ap brake kit so we've got 16 inch up front and if you come down here you'll see that exhaust system that pete fabricated last week we've gone three inch turbo back We've gone with the, this silence we're calling our mid-spec. So the customer still wanted a nice exhaust tone. So we'll still have a nice growl from the exhaust. And it won't be, let's say, too boy racery, if you like. So guys, thanks for tuning in. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I need to go and get this little man home for some food and get him to bed. Anyway, see you again next week. Take care. Say bye-bye, Hugo. Bye.